The guide has been produced with the aim of providing event organizers with all the tools to ensure safe planning and minimizing risks. At the moment, it's a set of guidelines for organizers coordinated by the Ministry of Culture and ranges from the bigger picture considerations such as outbreaks of contagious diseases and terrorism to everyday things like food safety, crowd management, waste, licensing and traffic flow. Well, this includes things like uh, crowd management, uh, making sure that first aid is available depending on the size of the event, that arrangements are made uh, in relation to traffic and ambulance support, um, all the, uh, food safety as well, guidelines on the preparation of food. So every little thing that could go wrong in an event, particularly in a big event, is set out with guidance provided so that uh, the organizer and the authorities can make sure that we are minimizing the possibility of anything going wrong. The need for such a committee and guide was first identified at the Island Games back in July and has now been formalized. The committee includes Culture Minister John Cortez, Culture Director Seamus Byrne, Event Safety Coordinator Brian Brooks and Civil Contingencies Coordinator Ivo Lopez. Um, it was a process that started with uh, Minister Linares when he was Minister for Culture and now it's come to fruition today. Um, this guide will support Gibraltar Cultural Services in the sense that um, now all um, key stakeholders are now um, part of this event notification and this event safety guide so not only for GCS but also for private uh, organizers uh, now everything will be centralized um, the environment uh, traffic uh, and many many other aspects that come with events. In Gibraltar at the highest level we have the Gibraltar Contingency Council uh, which actually coincidentally are going to be meeting today and they will be looking at every single element of, uh, of security in, in Gibraltar. But one of the key things that we just need to be aware is that of uh, uh, events and the event safety and clearly we know the, the many risks that exist uh, around JIP, whether that may have been terrorism or whatever, uh, and clearly uh, events many times actually um, comprise the fact that, that you have large numbers of uh, people and so on. So clearly that is just an example of uh, the things that we need to, uh, to look at. So the Safety Advisory Group is very much making sure that we are supporting those event organisers to ensure that they are looking at all uh, aspects of uh, uh, event safety. The, this process was introduced back with the Island Games, not, obviously not as formal as it is now. Um, but the, you know, coordinating with emergency services um, and event organisers, and it proved that it worked well, and that was sort of sort of the first step. Um, from that stage onwards, we I started sort of working very closely with the civil contingencies office, and we looked how ways to improve uh, safety generally in Gibraltar. Um, so the first sort of stepping point was Island Games. Then we we sort of dovetailed into um, Gibraltar Calling and musical events. Uh, we worked a sort of the same similar process through that and it, it proved quite successful, um, you know, very positive feedback from the event organisers um, and then sort of we, we then thought you know, generally we could have this approach more generally for, for all events in Gibraltar. They will liaise with the ambulance service, the fire and rescue service, the health authority and the Royal Gibraltar Police. The first port of call for organisers will be the submission of an event notification form, which is included in the guide. The form asks organisers to provide all the information necessary for the committee to coordinate the safety management of the event.